This will be the last question that Mr. Shapiro takes for the evening. That's Sorry, a lot of pressure. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Um, <laughs> my name is Andrew, um, and uh, I used to, I was introduced to you by the Michael Knowles book, uh, Reasons to Vote for Democrats. Your quote that said thorough at the top, and it was a blank book. Um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with that book. Um, but um, I, uh, my, my question is um, about, uh, it's like, in the, in the way that, like, the, the, the things that you're saying about um, certain, you know, things being done with hard work, seeing, things being done with intellect, um, as kind of like a, you know, a slippery slope to, to more right, like, you know, racist things or, like, white supremacist things. Um, the question is, like, a FSU-specific question about um, what your thoughts are about the difference between canceling someone for what they believe and accountability in a position where they should have accountability, um, specifically Jack Denton, who is a, was an FSU, I believe, Senate um, person. But he was basically, he had, um, sorry, <laughs> I should be more knowledgeable about this, but, um, and I really don't want to be the, the college student destroyed by Ben Shapiro. Um, <laughs> but... Um, but the question is basically, he was, a, he was an FSU student that um, had anti-BLM, anti-transgender uh, uh, comments in um, a Catholic group that he had, the mm -hmm. Facebook group or something. If someone wants to correct me on that, they can, but a group me, gotcha. Different application. Okay. Um, but the question is basically, uh, what are your thoughts on that, you know, I mean, so, so my, my basic view of cancel culture, I won't comment out specific case because I really don't know the facts of the case, um, but the, my, my general thoughts on, on cancel culture versus what they call accountability culture is you get to hold somebody accountable for a thing that they do in the space where they do it. What I mean by that is I speak on politics. If I say something bad about politics, you cannot listen to my show. You can say that, that I'm a bad man and you, should, and you can come after me and you can tell people not to listen to me and all of that. If you go after my advertisers who are advertising on a wide variety of programs, then that is an attempt to cancel as opposed to an attempt to, to hold accountable because the person that you're actually attempting to hold accountable is not me. You're attempting to go after advertisers who have had nothing to say about any of the... That my advertisers, I assume, disagree with a lot of what I say. Right? Just because they advertise on the program does not mean that they approve of everything I say, any more than they agree with everything on MSNBC if they advertise on both of us. Um, the, this, this holds true across, I would say, industries. So you see, you'll see a plumber, and a plumber has some sort of bad thing on a Facebook page. And the idea is that you can no longer use this plumber because of what was on their Facebook page that they were talking about politics. That seems very silly to me. If you can unclog my toilet, I'll use you as the plumber. These two things have nothing whatsoever to do with each other. If it impacts your job performance, that's accountability culture. If it impacts not your job performance, you just impact sort of your public perception, that seems a lot more like cancel culture to me. As a member of student government, do you think that he should be held accountable to those beliefs? I mean, it depends who's holding him accountable. In other words, was he, uh, you'll have to tell me the story. Did they, was he dumped by the school from his position in the student senate, or did people just not elect him in the future? Yeah, it was a vote of no confidence from the um, student government. I mean, I, I can say whether I disagree or agree with that, but I can also say that if a student government votes that they don't want somebody else in student government because of something that they've said politically, then I, I can think that they are, are being censorious. I'm not sure that that counts as formal cancel culture in the sense that they're being canceled for something that, that is outside the purview of which they're, they're normally speaking. Uh, but I can still think that the people who are doing it are jackasses. I don't know what he said. So both of those things can be true at once. Sometimes accountability culture, as it's called, can also be misused. It's not like a hard divide between accountability culture is good and cancel culture is universally bad. Right? I, I could probably think of hypothetical th scenarios where that's not true. Uh, well... Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the time. It's great to see you.